Shrek and Jack and Quincy on my campus. Summertime! Wow, now that is a good looking tree. You see that tree right there? Oh, it's it, ju it just keeps going up and up. It don't stop, it just gets it, gets it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, by the way, hi, it's Tracker Jack, and uh, Quincy here is taking me on a hike. Hello! Um, we're just frolicking along through the woods. Would you like to come along? All right, well, let's go <laughs> okay. down this trail. And by the way, uh, Quincy. Yes, what? what's going on, Chuck a Jack? Where exactly are we going? Well, I told you that I am the Unicorn Whisperer, and I can't really tell you because it's all um, due to Sherman's convictions where he wants to go. He has the secrets of the forest that he's keeping up in this here tusk, and he will tell us when it's time. Well, he will tell us when it's time. All right, let's right, keep Sherman? going. Yes. Hmm. I think. I can feel him breathing heavily, though. I think it must mean that we're almost there to his home, to the magical forest. To the magical forest? To the magical forest. I mean, all forests are pretty magical. Well, obviously, the most magical forest is the one where Sherman's from. Come, come. It's true. I haven't yet seen any other unicorns out here. Oh, he's making some strange noises. Okay. Oh, I think it means we're almost there. Hmm. Well, let's be farther. Three big more steps. Three big more. One, two, Ew. three. Ew. Oh, oh. oh. he's so excited. Oh. Oh, my God. What is it? Well, Miss Quincy, what is this place? Uh, dear Tracker Jack, this is one of the most beautiful, special places in the world. This is a magical Aspen Kettle forest. Ooh. Yeah, this is you nice. See the eyes of the aspen trees looking at us. Oh, they're watching us. They're watching us indeed. So, when you call it a magical aspen kettle forest, what yes. what makes it so magical? Well, this is a story that Sherman and his family told me—a law from his people, from his unicorns. Um, now. This place here, Ponderosa State Park, was once a, a giant glacier. Now, about 10,000 years ago, that glacier receded due to a changing climate, leaving <laughs> chunks of cold water that slowly, slowly um, percolated into the ground. Hmm. Now, if you notice the ground, it's a bit squishy. Oh, yeah, Do you? kind a of squishy. squishy. It's a little bounce, all right. Yes. Mm -hmm. You get a little more bounce here than somewhere out in the Grand Fur Duck, for example. Now, this area in Ponderosa State Park was one of the last places to, um, to have the glacier recede from its vicinity. Having said that, there's still much more water in this part of the forest than there is just beyond where we frolicked through before. Now, the aspen trees, they love a good, moist soil. Come, come. Mm -hmm. You look down here, you dig down, past, you see, you find this delicious, Delicious moist soil. Oh yeah. Isn't that beautiful. Yeah, there's that some good looking dirt grass. right there. You might almost call this somewhat of a wetland where the ground is more moist here. And the aspens just sprout up all around. Beautiful. <laughs> um Sherman, I'm not I'm not too sure about that. Really? Alright. Oh, you're right! Oh my goodness! Sherman says that this is sunscreen, a natural sunscreen, protecting the aspen. Now he said, dig down a little bit. Is this going to hurt the tree, Sherman? Yeah? All right. So if you dig down a little bit with your fingernails, you'll notice this green, uh, this chlorophyll in the bark of the tree. Now Sherman says that the aspen's bark is actually photosynthesizing, much like the leaves, much like the grasses, with the pigments of the chlor in the film. How wonderful. I wonder what the SPF... Oh, about SPF 8? Oh, well, that'll do. Much cheaper than its CVS. Mm -hmm. Wow, Quincy. All these aspen trees are just right here in this one spot, all together in one big group. I wonder why they're like that. Well, that's a fabulous observation there, Tracker Jack. And actually, um, something that Sherman just whispered to me is that they are all actually one giant organism. 
They're all connected in an underground root system and they sprout out from that root system all growing up together in this formation. Now, they're all one organism, but I wonder if there are any other organisms that live here. I guess we could just look and see. Take a closer look. Oh, let's take Let's get tiny here. Oh, look at the little guys. One and two, and they might go marching four by four down there. Down the aspen tree there. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Jackie Jack. Yes. Oh, that's, what's what's that? that? What, what, what's that? What? Funny looking marks on this tree. Ah, I, I barely noticed them. Yeah. What? Right up there. Oh. Wonderwood made those marks. You don't think it could have been... Do you think it... <laughs> oh, track attack! What? We are gonna get out of here before the bears come back! Oh, oh it's a bear! Quincy, out! Track attack, out!